All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you a super cool card trick. Um, you can use a borrowed deck of cards. You can have the spectator go ahead, shuffle up the pack any way they like. You're going to have them pick a random card from the deck and say, look, if you want, you can go ahead and sign this card. I just need you to remember it. And then what we're going to do is put this into the middle of the deck. No, give it a shuffle. And then from here, what I'm going to do is ask you a couple of questions, right? So. Let's say, um, for instance, I'm gonna ask you something, maybe like, you know, the color of the card, or red or black, and you can tell me red or black, okay, whether or not it's true to your card, I'm going to try and figure out what your card is just by asking you a couple questions. So for instance, let's start, right? You don't have to tell me the truth, you can tell me the truth if you want to, right? So you ask your spectator, was your card a red or a black card? Okay, let's say, for instance, they say black. And I would say, okay, you know what? Um, yeah, okay, that sounds that sounds pretty legitimate. Um, was it a number card or a picture card? The spectator might say a number card. I'm like, okay. Okay, that, yeah, that sounds about right as well. Was it, a, was it like a lower number or a higher number? And let's say the spectator says it was a low number. At this point, I'd say, yeah, you know what, okay. See, I can tell you're not lying, right? I can tell you're, you're definitely not lying. And then you kind of go, you can ask, you know, is it, you know, jack, queen, king, whatever. You, you can ask whatever questions you want. The next thing you have to do is say, look, all right, so based on my assumptions here, okay, based on how you've been, you know, you've been talking to me, I truly believe your card, it wasn't, and you look at the face, you know, it wasn't, okay, it wasn't the Ace of Clubs. Okay, so it wasn't the Ace of Clubs. Um, you go through the deck, and you're like, okay, well, yeah, see, I don't see, I actually don't see your card here, so hold on one second. Can you look at this one over here? And they're going to flip their card over and say it wasn't the Ten of Diamonds, was it? And then at this point, you give the spectators their card. And um, that's a trick, guys. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so the uh, the setup for this trick is actually pretty easy because there isn't really a setup. You just have the spectators shuffle up the deck however they want to, and you truly just pick a random card from the middle. So let's say we got this random card from the middle. Um, all you do is you show the spectators their card, obviously. You can have them sign it. doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to leave a link on the screen for the Marlowe Tilt because that's what I did in the performance. I just took a random card and then I put it second from the top, making it look like it's going in the middle. But in reality, I really just put it second from the top, but from the spectator's view, it looks like it's going into the middle of the deck when it's going second from uh, second from the top here. So then what I did um, at this point, so I'm assuming you click the link, you know how to do this. Um, once the card's in this, you know, the second spot from the, from the top, you still have this random card on top that you have to get rid of. So I did a double undercut and I pushed the top card over. Okay, so now I just push it over with my thumb, pulled it back, and now I have a break underneath that top card with my pinky right there. And then I just transfer this to a thumb break. And then what I did was I took half the cards from the bottom of the deck, moved it to the top, left everything on top of that break, and then moved these cards to the top. So now I have the, uh, the spectator selection on top, and that random card is now on the bottom. And then from here, the trick is pretty much set up. So you have their card on top, um, and you can ask them literally whatever questions you want, and it doesn't really matter because you know their card is on top of the deck, and you know, you can say, okay, was your card a red or a black card, right? And if they say black, you know, you really don't know what they're, what they're saying, so either you're lying to them the truth, it doesn't matter because you don't even know the card, right? So the next thing you do after you ask them a couple questions, you say, you know what, all right, I actually, I kind of think I got this figured out, right? So just based on, you know, the answers you've given me, I think, I truly believe that, and then, you know, if you want to do like a false cut or something and just kind of, act like you've mixed up the deck, you say, look, I, I truly believe your card, you look, oh, it wasn't the 10, okay, it wasn't the 10 of clubs, because what I just did there was a double lift, okay, so I'll leave a link on the screen for that. I just lifted over two cards, and now the top card that I put down on the table, this is actually the spectator's six of clubs, so you say, okay, actually, so if that wasn't it, you know, you just go through, fumble through the deck, and you actually, wait, wait, check this one real quick again. And then boom, this is the spectator's card. So I hope you guys all liked the video. And um, if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe.